Let's talk about the envelope on the Stylophone Gen X1. Let's take out our stylus. Oh. Let's get it back just on the standard setting. Envelope controls two things. Either the filter, and in a way that kind of implies the amp, or the envelope. So let's listen to it working with the filter first and foremost. Okay, I'm gonna turn down the filter cutoff point which will make us notice the envelope. That little pop you can hear, it's because the attack and the decay are both set to zero. So we're getting a traditional filter cutoff envelope there. And this is the point where the stylophone stops sounding like a stylophone and starts sounding like a synthesizer, which is really cool. So let's uh, change these settings a little bit here. Now the decay is not a release. This is just an attack decay, so it's only going to happen as long as you're making the contact. which reveals a very nice filter sound that uh, you may not have noticed when we did the filter video. Let's add a little resonance. So you get full on traditional synthesizer sounds. Little filter self oscillation there. Don't forget, you know, we have other octaves we can be working with. Really nice full on analog synthesizer sound there. Let's add a little bit more. Pretty full. Uh, also, you know, the filter does have an effect on the sound if we have the pulse width modulation happening. Gives it even more of an analog tone. So yeah, that sounds great. Uh, let's also listen to the pitch. I'm gonna turn the filter off so we can focus directly on the pitch. You have this pitch amount control, so the degree to which the envelope shape affects the pitch of the sound can be quite different. And of course, you could also set it to a very slight setting, so you actually turn it into kind of an attack transient more than a pitch change. So it has a number of uses, uh, mostly like it's great for effects. And let's uh, bring on some effects here. Let's. Using it in conjunction with the other uh, functionality will get you uh, different things going on. Oh, 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 oh,
And we can still have the filter going too. So once you have all these things going at once, you have quite a diversity of effects that you can do. sound there but yes yeah, so you can see using all of these three functions we've already talked about you can get a fair amount of interesting effects going on and let's try this with the ribbon I'm going to turn the LFO off and open up the filter and we'll have a listen <laughs> So the filter is actually triggering, or the filter, the ribbon is actually triggering, triggering the envelope, causing the envelope to change pitch while you are changing the pitch with the ribbon. So you get kind of really interesting effects. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard for you probably to tell what is envelope and what is my finger. But trust me, when you're doing this, like you can hear the envelope adjusting to the frequency, probably the voltage that the ribbon is giving it, uh, and then continuing to try to do its own envelope. Okay, and of course, we can bring in the LFO. which is a lot of fun. All right, so that is basically the envelope function. It has an attack and decay that occurs when you're holding uh, either the stylus to the metal or your finger to the ribbon. Uh, there is no release, but it does, the envelope controls the filter cutoff point. If the filter is, uh, if the cutoff point is turned down enough so that you can hear it. And then we have the ability to control the frequency of the oscillator um, with the envelope as well. Thank you.